I'm Dr. Chris Kingswood. I work as a, an adult kidney specialist. Tuberous sclerosis complex is a genetic condition. It's where the basic instructions for how cells work, the, the DNA, you get a mutation in, in a vital part. Um, so the cells that are affected in the body don't develop normally and they form into benign tumours and they block development of some of the vital organs like the brain. There's, there's a wide variety of, of problems that can occur. It's commonly quite severe with, with severe epilepsy developing soon after someone's born. Um, it can affect brain development and brain function so people may have impaired intelligence or autistic type behaviours. About a third of people are completely dependent on, on their relatives and, and carers to look after them. I am Jack Royal and I suffer from tuberous sclerosis complex. I was robbed of my childhood and needed 24-7 care from my parents because of my epilepsy and my autistic tendencies. I had to be in hospital pretty much all the time. I couldn't ride a bike, I couldn't tie my shoelaces at the time, I couldn't do things like my normal friends could. I'm Ali Royal, I'm Jack Royal's mum. Jack spent most of his childhood in and out of hospital to do with his illness, which was diagnosed at 22 months. It involved mainly the epilepsy and the autistic tendencies at the time. Later on came the issues with learning difficulties. And then at seven, Jack had to have brain surgery. So for probably 18 years, my life was put on hold and Jack was obviously our main concern was keeping him well and safe and alive. The new treatments to come available, Vitubia, has just been licensed for use in the UK, Europe and the United States for treatment in tuberous sclerosis, particularly for the kidney tumours and for the brain tumours. It's turned from a kind of ray of hope into something that substantially alters people's general health. So for the kidney tumours, over 90 to 100% of them shrink. Um, and the kidney tumours in adults are the, the main cause of, of death and the main cause of, of um, severe illness. About how the treatments helped me, I think I got rid of all my pretty much all my autistic tendencies, I stopped my, auti um, my epilepsy, and that's helped me think a lot better now. I've got a much better life than I did when I was, when I was a child. So he'll be gaining some independence, he's able to go to do some voluntary work at the hospital, and we've all got our lives back.